So over the last few videos, without using more than just a few little HTML tags, we've been able to create a new content type and we've been able to create custom fields and we've been able to build our own mini little version of Amazon on our WordPress website. But I'm sure nearly all of you have been to Amazon.com and you've realized that they have many, 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 many different things on their site. And if we are going to build a site of any size, we're going to run into some limitations fairly quickly. For example, if we have books and movies and um, clothes and all the other millions and millions of things that Amazon has, then our categories and our tags are going to be overwhelmed fairly quickly. We could try and shoehorn our books categories, our clothes categories, our movies categories, our shoes categories, all into the one category or the one set of tags. But it's going to end up being pretty confusing and pretty hard to manage. What Pods allows us to do is create a whole new set of categories or a whole new set of tags specifically for books. Let's go ahead and see how that works. We're going to be able to divide our books into things such as fiction or nonfiction, history, science, uh, technology. We're going to be able to create book genres and actually add them to the books that we have on our site. So we're going to go back to something that we did really early in this class. We went to the pods admin and we clicked add new and we had a choice between creating something new or extending something that was already on our site. What we're going to do is click on create new and we're going to create a new way of organizing our content or more specifically a new way of organizing our books. We're going to go ahead and click on create new. Earlier we chose custom post type and we created a custom post type for books. This time we're going to choose taxonomy. Now a taxonomy is can be a, a confusing word. Uh, I've often heard people get confused by this word. Someone once said is it where you stuff dead animals? No, that's taxidermy. This is taxonomy. Taxonomy is basically a very unusual word for how you organize things such as categories or tags in the WordPress example that we see here. I'm going to choose custom taxonomy. The singular label will be book genre and the plural book genres. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on next step and really I don't need to do too much here. Now I could customize it, I could add extra fields to it if I wanted to to get more detailed but really the most important thing I need to do is click on advanced options and down where it says associated post types I can go ahead and associate my book genre taxonomy with books. Now if I click on save pod that'll be saved and under books on the top left I now have book genres as an option. So now I can come in here I can enter the different genres uh, history, technology, fiction, non-fiction and this will operate in a very similar way to categories and tags but it'll be completely customizable and it'll also be cleanly distinct from all the other categories and tags that I have on my site. Now if I go back to my books and if I edit one of the books that I have we should see under categories and tags that I can add my book genres directly to the books that I have on my site. It may make sense at this point to go back to pods to edit the books pod and actually remove tags and categories from my books but that's a choice that you may want to make depending on how integrated 
you want to make your books with the rest of the site. If you allow the categories and tags to remain, then you can cross-categorize your posts, your pages, and your books.